In this video today we shall go back to King of the Monsters and discuss about the 12 titans that were not seen in the movie but were noted to have come out and attacked humanity at the behest of Monster Zero as well as have died due to some unknown events. We have found images that better describe them and also locations of where they might be on this planet and most of them are hidden and hibernating until the events of KOTM. So subscribe to be a part of the MindQ family and now let's get down with this sickness. Number 1. Abaddon Appearing in the X-ray screen to be some sort of a rock titan with insect-like limbs, the name Abaddon is actually the Hebrew word for doom and in Greek it's Apollyon. It is also a biblical fallen angel, sometimes the angel of death and sometimes the angel of destruction. This titan is discovered in the Devil's Tower in Wyoming in the United States. The post Abaddon was contained in Monarch Outpost 77 is a possible reference to the 1977 Toho film the war in space or the last dinosaur or possibly even the close encounters of the third kind which were also released in 1977 and features the devil's tower his name sounds familiar to another one of godzilla's arch nemesis hmm who could that be maybe destroyer number two bunyip another titan that was discovered in a similar fashion as abaddon this one however was hibernating in the heart of australia in the is rock formation and obviously monarch built an outpost around it the outpost Bunyip was contained in, Monarch Outpost 99, is a possible reference to the 1999 Toho film Godzilla 2000 Millennium. Regarding the appearance of this titan, it might say it looks like an aquatic mammal with giant tusks, somewhat like a hippopotamus or a giant walrus. It could be another mammalian titan like Kong and Behemoth. But in the monitor screens, it is shown as a serpentine seahorse-like titan with many frills and tentacle-like outgrowths. Number 3. Baphomet Discovered in Volubilis in Morocco, which had ancient Roman ruins and an ancient city that was lost in time, Baphomet was found hibernating beneath the ancient ruins. Baphomet was a goat-headed demonic entity worshipped by the Knights Templar in myths, but in truth it was a fabrication to incriminate the Templars as worshippers of a false god. In the screens, it is shown that Titanus Baphomet had insect-like limbs with flaps of skin attached to them which could serve as wings for the Titan. The outpost Baphomet was contained in Monarch Outpost 68 could be a possible reference to the 1968 Toho film Destroy All Monsters. Number 4. Leviathan This titan is known to many as the Loch Ness Monster and was discovered in the Loch Ness of Scotland. The Leviathan had outpost number 49 built around it. It is presumably way bigger than any real world estimates for the Loch Ness Monster. The Leviathan is fully aquatic and can travel from the lake to many parts of the world's oceans via tunnels going through the hollow earth. The word Leviathan comes from the biblical use which means the Leviathan is a giant sea creature created by God, usually described as a serpentine or a whale-like creature and is the counterpart to the land behemoth. In the screens it looks like an octopus in appearance with only 4 to 6 tentacles however and they are massive and bulky in size. Number 5. The Kraken this titan, the Kraken, was briefly described in the novelization of King of the Monsters and it greatly resembles an octopus or a squid but is much larger with a dense, curving cone of shell that protects its massive brain. Using radiation signatures and biosonic emissions, Monarch had discovered an invisible hibernating Kraken wrapped around the remains of a nuclear submarine that had been lost or missing for decades in the Indian Ocean. Like other octopods, Kraken can change the color and patterns of its shell and skin to become virtually invisible. He can also mimic other states such as death by disguising his radiation signature. The monarch outpost that Kraken is contained in is mentioned to be top secret, but it is in the Indian Ocean. Number 6. Tiamat Like a Baron and Bunyip, Tiamat is discovered hibernating in a massive rock formation in Georgia, the United States, in what is known as Stone Mountain. The outpost Tiamat was contained in monarch outpost 53 it's a possible reference to the 1953 Warner Brothers film The Beast from 20,000 Fathoms. In mythology, she is a primordial goddess of the sea mating with the god of groundwater to produce younger gods. She is the symbol of chaos and primordial creation. Some sources identify her with images of a serpent or a dragon with a couple of heads. Number 7. Sekhmet Yet another possible mammalian titan, Sekhmet is said to have or possess feline traits something like a sphinx or a lioness and also described as a giant lion-like kaiju. 
Sekhmet was a warrior and a healing goddess in ancient Egyptian mythology, a solar and war deity. The outpost Sekhmet was contained in Monarch Outpost 65 is a possible reference to the 1965 Toho film Invasion of Astro Monster. When Ghidorah calls all the Titans, Sekhmet breaks free and begins to hunt with her new pack, destroying a railway station amongst other structures. In the screens, she looks to be like a centipede with multiple limbs and an elongated body-like insect. She might be a mix of a lion and a centipede in appearance. Number 8. Yamata no Orochi This titan was discovered hibernating in Mount Fuji in Japan and is said to have multiple heads like Ghidorah. Yamata no Orochi is a snake or a dragon in Japanese legend that has 8 heads and 8 tails, which was the same as the Toho Kaiju. Legendary might have had a deal with Toho for use of the kaiju as well but just in limited stock. Standing at 300 meters tall when upright, the Orochi who appeared in the birth of Japan is one of the tallest monsters ever to appear in a film produced by Toho. It could be that this titan was in fact the same one from the birth of Japan, I mean the one from Monsterverse could be the same one from Japan, the birth of Japan, but of course with a different storyline and minor changes in appearance. Number 9. Typhon Although Typhon is a monstrous and powerful male serpentine giant in Greek mythology and the father of Scylla, in the Monsterverse, however, he is a titan that was discovered hibernating in Cambodia deep under the Angkor Wat ruins. The outpost Typhon was contained in Monarch Outpost 92 is a possible reference to the 1992 Toho film Godzilla vs. Mothra. In the monitor screens, however, he is shown to be something quite different than a serpentine deity. He looks to be almost amorphous and rock-like in appearance with multiple eyes growing on his body. Being so close to the site of where Mothra is, Typhon could have also been a benevolent titan as well. Number 10. Quetzalcoatl Found hibernating in the ancient Incan ruins of Machu Picchu which are found in the Andes mountains of Peru, Quetzalcoatl is a titan that sleeps beneath this ancient city and was worshipped as a god by the Incans and the South American people of Peru. Quetzalcoatl was a feathered serpent deity in the cultures of pre-Columbia, particularly by the Aztec and the Nahua. The outpost Quetzalcoatl was contained in Monarch Outpost 57 is a reference to the 1957 Toho film The Mysterians, and it could possibly mean that this is yet another flying titan of the Monsterverse. And number 11. Amhuluk This titan was discovered in a very weird rock formation in Mother Russia. In the Mapupena rock formations to be exact, in the myths it is described to be a furry creature with several spots, a pair of horns in its head, furless legs and a body resembling that of a traditional western dragon. The outpost Amhuluk was contained in Monarch Outpost 66 is a possible reference to the 1966 Toho film Ebira Horror of the Deep. It could be that Amhuluk was discovered hibernating in hiding camouflage as one of the tower rocks for in the formation and emerged when Ghidorah sounded his alpha call. And number 12, Mark Yeager. This is an aquatic scaly reptilian titan similar to Godzilla but about the size of a whale. She has a flat face with her nostrils above her human-like eyes, like some aquatic mammal, and her skull protrudes backwards as a result shielding her neck from threats. In death, Magiger appears to be burnt, with her skeleton showing a jagged rift running from her neck to her abdomen. Magiger was killed near the Arctic by an unknown titan, possibly Godzilla. Later, Monarch discovers her frozen corpse and takes her to their headquarters where the male Muto, the female Muto and Muto Prime were situated to experiment on them. And with that we come to the end of this video. Do like for support and also subscribe to be a part of the MindQ family as well as smash that notification bell for regular updates on your phones when we publish new videos on monsters, kaijus, tyrants, Godzilla vs. Kong dissection videos and more right here on MindQ. Take care fam.